Hi, and welcome to this short video. These are our top three tips for cool in poses. So you can see I'm by the door here. Now, I'm just gonna show you this. I have to uh, come up to do that. So I've got about by the door and you probably can see here that it's around the door handle. Now it can go around any door handle, but the one thing that you have to do is to make sure that the door closes and that it doesn't pull open. So you've got the belt and this is really gonna be really important for our number one cooling pose. So this is Adam Krishnanasana with Attitude. This is really lovely, we all love it here. If you've got a rope wall, then you can use this of course for that. But just have a look and see. It's a really great way to practice your Adam Krishna, so I'm just going to move that buckle so it's not in my way. So you can see here that I'm creating traction. I want to see that I've got traction going on there. Now you may need to build up a little bit more support, but as you can see, I'm in this pose and I can just stay here and the belt is just keeping my legs really working so nicely and I can concentrate on my breath. So Adha Mukha Svanasana, really important. You can set your timer for five minutes, whatever it may be, and then be in this pose. Pose number two is Halasana. So Halasana with support. So just have a look at this now. So I've got four foam pads, in this position, like this. So I love working in Halasana in a passive way, in a restorative way. Let's just get all my support sorted out here. Like this. And then just having a chair with a bolster. So hopefully you can actually find anything around the home to really um, take place so you can put a couple of bed pillows instead of the bolster and so you can see I've got this set up going on I'm just going to use a brick, brick for a launch pad and just have a look at the pose so again you can be in supported halasana anything between five and ten minutes and if you're just learning then couple of minutes would be fine. So this is great. So I'm going to come over onto my chair. The only thing, if you haven't got a halasana support, is that you may need to bring the chair in. But a halasana support is like, um, I'd say it's like a little side table that is this shape, like a nice square shape. You see my arms are relaxed to the side. And actually, I'm just not working in this at all. So you have to see that the breath is smooth and even when you come into this pose. So again, this is such a nice pose and really quietening, really good for the nerves. So always when you come out of any of these type of poses, you want to just take your time and be sure that you're just supporting your head in this way. Don't rush up, don't rush anywhere, just be in it. And then my third pose is Pashimottanasana. Now, I know you think, oh my goodness me, that's such an extreme pose. Well, you can do this to a chair, you can do it to a brick, you can actually practice it in lots of different ways which are very soothing and quietening. So I'm going to show you my favourite way and if it's a little bit too challenging then you can come into it in a slightly different way and use a chair. So I'm coming into this Paschimottanasana with brick and then I want to see that I walk back with the buttocks. You can see here, 
I'm walking back with the buttocks, grounding down into the legs and then just resting the head in this way. So this would be my favorite. But if you are really stiff, there is an alternative for your forward bending practice. So you can always come into this position with the chair I'm just walking myself back a little bit. You can have some support on the chair and come into this pose like this. And again, I would really recommend that it's a five minute stay. If you've got your legs crossed, then it's a couple of minutes each side. So enjoy cooling down and look forward to seeing you next time.